drive through downtown Lynn and you can't miss one organization's presence. They've turned entire buildings into a series of essentially blank canvases. And they've done so for a reason. Joining us to discuss is the founder of Beyond Walls, Al Wilson. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us this morning. I, for one, love driving into a city and seeing murals. For me, it brings a smile to my face. There's a sense of connection. Is that the same for your community? It is, yeah. I mean, you can't come into Lynn now and not see these murals, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. How do you go about establishing that kind of you know, project of that scope? Uh, well, you know, we, we put a request for proposal out to internationally known artists, um, and they were really attracted to Lynn. I mean, Lynn's this great city on the waterfront, just two stops out of Boston, mm -hmm. uh, dynamic, you know, architecture with its varied in height. And so it was pretty easy to actually get in top talent to Lynn. What have you done so far? What are you most proud of? So we, we managed to attract 20 internationally known artists to put up 15 murals in 10 days. So it's over 26,000 square feet of paint. Uh, and the art represents this diverse cultural uh, community. So it, it, it's pretty neat. What is the ultimate story you're trying to tell? Yeah, well, you know, Lynn, I think, gets a unfair uh, bad rap. Mm -hmm. The reality is the, this city is the most culturally diverse uh, in the Commonwealth. Um, and it's a, a fantastic city, right, just two stops out of, out of Boston. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to put up art that reflected that city's makeup. And I think we did that through the murals. And everyone can be involved. How are business owners and people who live in Lynn becoming part of this movement? Well, you know, we've got a, a sizable committee that's made up from residents of Lynn. Um, but we're always looking for more parties. So they can go onto our website, uh, beyond-walls.org, and sign up and, and get involved. Uh, and now we're working on the other three components of this. I was going to say, yeah, you don't just have to be a painter. We're talking the, the LED display that you have, the sculpture. That's right. So underpass lighting of the three uh, overpasses cutting through downtown. Really cool vintage neon pieces of artwork. And then a sculpture utilizing the first jet engine made by a U.S. manufacturer was made by GE in Lynn in 1942. And we've got one. That is so interesting. <laughs> I, I would have never known to, to look at Lynn and, and find all of this rich cultural history. Any big events you have coming up? Yeah, we do. So we're going to do lighting ceremonies for the vintage neon pieces of art, as well as when we turn on the underpass lighting of the, of the bridges. So all of that will be announced on our website. All right. Boom. Al Wilson from Beyond Walls, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For more information, you can head to our website also, cbsboston.com. We'll be right back. What a guy.